Hey, how's it going? Parker Walbeck here with FullTimeFilmmaker.com. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create auto-generated captions or subtitles within Premiere Pro for your TikToks, your Instagram Reels, YouTube videos, course videos, whatever it be. I'm going to show you how to do it quickly and easily. So let's go ahead and jump right into a project file I have here set up. And here's a video of me just talking to the camera. So to increase engagement, we are going to add some captions. Now in past versions of Premiere Pro, you'd have to make each subtitle one by one and it took super long, but not anymore. Now it's all auto generated and let's show you how to do that. So our first step is to come right up here in the top right, make sure you're in the correct workspace, which is going to be captions and graphics. And then the next step is to come up here and hit the text tab and then the transcribe sequence. Now this will give you the option to do different languages, recognize when different speakers are talking. This one's just me. And if I had in and out points, I could click that, but I don't. So it's just gonna do the whole timeline by default. So I'll hit transcribe now. And this is a one minute talking head and it took less than 10 seconds for that one minute to transcribe. So very quick and easy. Now it is very accurate. However, there are going to be some errors, mistakes, depending on how clearly you speak. So the next step is to listen through your video while looking at the text that is generated. Look for any mistakes and correct them if needed. Was my work hours once we got into more of a normal groove. So it's not group, it was groove. And then we'll keep going. Okay, so I think it made three, four mistakes in hundreds of words there. So very accurate, very easy to auto-generate. Your next step will be to come up here to this CC button, which is create captions. Click on that. You have a few options here. I personally keep them as default. So we'll hit create. Again, it'll take a few more seconds, all of two seconds there. And now you'll see the captions are showing up on your timeline in orange down here on its own video line called subtitle. And now if you play it, separate your work hours from your family hours. You now see the subtitles are showing up on my video. Now you could be good right here and call it done and export. However, there are some things you can customize if you'd like, and you can do that by clicking on one of those captions. And then over here, you'll see all of the parameters you can change to customize your text. Quick tip here, before you change the look or style of one caption, if you want all the captions to have the same look or style, Make sure to first highlight all the captions and then make your style changes. Another way to do this would be to change one caption segment, then any central graphics panel. You can go to track style. Once created, it will automatically be applied to all caption segments. So first highlight, then start making stylistic changes. And I'm just gonna change my font. Let's go to this one, maybe medium. And I'm going to increase the size. I want the text a little bit bigger than that. And then you can align exactly where you want the text to be. I don't want it covering my face, so the bottom's fine. However, with Instagram and TikTok, which is what this is for specifically, they usually have words at the bottom here of the caption. And so you don't want that to compete. So I usually bring the text up just a tad. Something like that ought to do. Next, you can choose if you want a drop shadow so the text stands out more, or if you want to add a background. If you do have a background, do you want the corners to be curved or sharp? And then how far out do you want that? The opacity, maybe change the color to black. So we'll call that good right now for editing our text. One bonus thing you can do to make your text pop even more is I personally like to find specific keywords that stand out from what I'm saying and I'll highlight them a different color. So for example, the keywords to start this video are work and family. So if I wanna highlight just those words, I'll just double click on it and then I can edit the text. I'll highlight just work, come over here to fill and we'll pick whatever color we want to be our highlight color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this number and do Command C to copy, then I'll hit OK. And you see that now applied the highlight color to that word. And then I'm gonna find a second word here, highlight that, come to fill, and then I'm gonna Command V, paste that exact same color. That way the colors match throughout and I'm not just guessing approximately. And now you see that those keywords can stand out. So when people are reading that text, it's even more engaging. So I then go through and highlight any other text I wanted. The next thing I like to do, is just fix any spacing issues. So for example, this first one, I don't know if I like that it puts separate on its own line. So I'd come in here and just go like that. And now it condensed it to two lines instead of three lines. So I'll go through, fix any spacing issues that I don't like. So we're pretty much done here. This is looking awesome. And one more thing to point out here is to notice that sometimes it makes little breaks. 
where there's not any caption. I personally don't like that. Some people might be okay with it, but I like to close up those gaps it creates. So I'll go through and just close up any gaps. Looks like it only did two. And now we are looking good. Quality time they need. So be 100% where you are when you're there. And before you export, I would just watch it through one more time, make sure there aren't any errors. And assuming there aren't, you can go ahead and export by coming up to the export tab, hit match source, and then you're gonna come down here to captions and just make sure it has burn captions into video selected if you want those captions to be burned into your video. And you are good to export. It will now have those subtitles baked into your video for Instagram or TikTok. Now, one bonus tip, if you wanted to export out just the subtitles as an SRT file that you can then upload to YouTube or a course hosting software, I do that all the time because on my course videos, I don't want the subtitles baked in, but I do wanna give people the option to turn on captions if they want. So in that situation, the way to export out just the subtitles as a separate file, come to these three dots over here, Click export to SRT file, name it, hit save. And then depending on the software you're uploading it to, there will be a place for you to add closed captions. And then you can simply upload that file. And now when you watch the video, you will see the option to turn on closed captions. So there you have it. That is how you quickly and easily auto-generate closed captions or subtitles for your TikToks, Instagrams, YouTube videos, course videos, whatever you need. This is the easiest way I have found to do it. Hopefully you guys learned something new. If you have any further questions, please let me know. Peace.